a Dark Dimension starter guide. Um, as always, uh, feel free to reach out to me on Discord, Khaleesi, in-game, mini-call. Um, as always, reach out to your Alliance leadership for any questions, comments, or concerns. Uh, with that being said, we're just going to jump right back into the uh, remaining portion of this video. And uh, just a couple things um, that I want to double back on. Um, you know, basic concept, you want to bring in a protector, um, a healer that preferably has a res, um, possibly another healer, certainly you can't go wrong there, and then uh, two damage dealing characters. Um, just to expand also, I don't know how I skipped over on the first one, uh, but Miss Marvel also is a, a very good protector um, as another kind of early on um, character. She unlocks in Mystic 2-6. Um, again, she is going to be great for Dark Dimension 2 and Dark Dimension 3 for those city girl, uh, for the city tags. Um, her abilities, um, you know, she is going to heal herself, um, which is great for a tank. Um, she is going to kind of, have, she has a little bit of an AoE, um, but the big thing you're kind of looking at um, is going to be um, if she's on there with a bunch of, uh, if there's any healer, uh, hero allies, they drop below 50%, she's going to gain taunt. Um, so again, it's a little bit more specific as to like who's actually in your roster, um, but she is an option, um, especially if you are going in with a lot of hero characters. Um, so I would add her to the list of protectors. Um, so you know you have Shield Security, Captain America, Colossus, uh, Miss Marvel, and then kind of your whale option would be Thanos. Um, also continuing with uh, some of my damage dealers that I uh, left out as well, um, Emma Frost. Um, normally I would not include her in the list, but since her event is currently going on, I do feel like a lot of people are going to be able to unlock her. Um, so she is a, a great self healer. Um, she's gonna do a lot of damage. Um, I do currently have her on my main account. Um, and she's also going to make the enemy attack themselves. Um, she's gonna clear positive buffs from your enemies while at the same time removing negative buffs. Um, and I mean, she's just an overall, a really good damage dealing character. Um, she does tie in the Marauders very well, obviously, um, but she's a great option. Um, as well for uh, a damage dealing character for Dark Dimension 2. Um, and she's definitely part of one of the more meta uh, war defense teams. So again, it's a great character that you could invest in. Um, another one on there, um, he's a little bit harder to farm. Um, it's gonna be Mr. Sinister. Um, he's only farmable from uh, war credits. Um, he is one of the character shards that does uh, drop from that. Um, Again, as I mentioned in my standalone video, um, he's pretty cool where he's able to clone his enemies. Once that enemy is cloned, um, he is going to be able to self-heal himself. Um, and with that clone, you're essentially going to have a team of six, um, which the more characters you have, the more damage you're going to do, and possibly the faster you're going to go through Dark Dimension 2. Um, so he is a good character. Um, like I've said, um, he's also part of a lot of the meta teams. So again, investing him up to gear 13 is a great use of resources. Um, so I just wanted to add those guys on to my damage and protector lists uh, respectfully. Um, now going into it, talking about healers, um, you know, as I've mentioned, um, having a res element certainly is um, amazing and it'll make Dark Dimension go by a lot faster. Um, the best healer in game, as I've said before, is going to be Minerva. Um, there are offers to purchase her. Um, this isn't always as um, free to play friendly, um, but even for a free-to-play account, I think she is a wonderful buy, and she's really going to help you um, go through Dark Dimension 2 and Dark Dimension 3. Um, like I've mentioned, she has a 100% chance to res an ally um, with this ability right here. Um, as you scale that up, um, the ally will also get death proof, um, so it'll give you a chance to heal them back up. She's got her mass AoE heal, and then anytime you kill an enemy, she is also going to heal the weakest uh, health character on your side um, for a bit. Um, so again, she's definitely probably, um, I would say, almost essential for Dark Dimension 2. Um, 
if you do not have her unlocked um, and you don't get lucky in your premium orbs, um, your next best option, I would say, would be Scientist Supreme. Um, if you're following my Dark Dimension 1 guide, you should already have her unlocked, fairly geared up. Um, you can definitely take her into uh, Dark Dimension uh, 2. Um, I haven't really used her much in Dark Dimension 3 on my main. But this is kind of the uh, ability you're going to want to make sure is up as high as possible. Um, you know, uh, again, she's going to revive. Um, and again, it's just a chance, so it's not 100%. Um, but she does kind of bring that uh, revive aspect. Um, if you are bringing Scientist Supreme in as your revive slash healer, um, you know, she's also going to heal your team first by debuffing you, but then her second skill will clear those debuffs. And the benefit to that is your enemy team is going to keep those debuffs on themselves. Um, she's also a great cleanser in that sense, um, where if you are getting a lot of debuffs, she will get rid of that. Um, However, she is a little bit weak on the healing side, so you are probably going to want to bring in a secondary healer if you do bring her in. Um, I feel like Minerva can probably heal by herself, and you can actually go in with three damage-dealing characters um, and your protector, whereas Scientist Supreme, I think she is kind of dependent on another healer because her heals are not the strongest. Um, She's going to pair best with Shuri, um, who is going to be a legendary unlock. Um, I think Shuri and Invisible Woman are the easiest legendaries to unlock, and they should be the first legendaries you are trying to unlock, as you can unlock both characters with a Sinister 6 team. Um, she's going to be a really great healer. Um, she's going to apply defense up. Um, she will heal your team, um, but her problem is that she doesn't have a res component to her kit, um, which is why she's going to pair really well with Scientist Supreme. Um, if for some reason you're not able to get Shuri and you start getting to that Dark Dimension point and it doesn't look like her legendary um, campaign is going to be coming around, a secondary option, um, you know, I'm not really a fan of these uh, next three characters uh, to bring them into Dark Dimension 2, uh, but if you have no other choices, um, you know, by all means, I wouldn't hold off Dark Dimension until you get the um, characters that I've talked about. Um, Shield Medic can kind of come in. Um, you know, she has a chance on every turn um, to heal the most injured ally, and that does scale. Um, as she gets higher up, she can also apply regeneration, and it'll increase her healing. Um, her actual healing ability, um, you know, will heal the three most injured allies, um, and as you scale it up, it eventually switches to all allies. So she's not a bad healer. Um, she's certainly a little less time dependent than Shuri, um, so she's a great option to bring in with Scientist Supreme. Next on that list, um, I am probably going to say would be Mantis. Um, again, kind of a similar thing. Um, her empathy, um, you know, uh, heals. Um, the only thing with Mantis is it's only going to be, um, um, you know, she primarily heals her adjacent ally, um, so she is not the best healer. Um, her Soothe ability um, allows her to redistribute health, um, so it's definitely a little bit more strategy if you do plan on using Mantis. Um, she's going to have to be placed kind of just right. Um, hopefully the enemies are attacking the character that's next to her. Um, so if you do end up using her in Dark Dimension 2, um, she is going to be paired um, best probably next to the tank, as they will primarily be getting the most damage. Um, last on my list is going to be Groot, um, and that's just because his heals are probably the weakest amongst the healers that have been listed. He does bring an aspect of um, removing debuffs, so if by chance Scientist Supreme uh, debuff remover is on cooldown, he does give you a secondary option. He is also um, going to give you that overgrowth, which um, once you get it scaled up to at least uh, level 6, it's going to be defense up um, for all allies. And from level 5, it'll be death proof to all allies. Um, so he does kind of bring some nice buffs into the game. Um, however, he's not going to be the best healer. Um, so those are kind of my uh, quick guide, I would say, um, to the probably... Um, 
basic concepts as to what you're going to want to bring into Dark Dimension 2. Um, the guide does specifically go more into um, specific characters and uh, teams. Um, you could, in theory, take the aim team that you used for Dark Dimension 1 into Dark Dimension 2. Um, they are ranked at about a uh, tier B team. Um, so you've got S, A, and then B. So, you know, they're certainly not the uh, worst team on the list. They're also not the best, um, but that is an option. So, uh, you know, just kind of a quick um, uh, overlaps or an overlay. Um, you're going to want to bring in a protector. Depending on your healer, um, you might be bringing in a secondary healer. Um, and then depending on the heal situation, you'll be either bringing in uh, two damage dealing characters or three. Um, and it always helps if those damage dealing characters have a component of self-healing in their kit. Um, any questions on this, guys, uh, you know, feel free to reach out. Like I've said, uh, Dark Dimension 2 does give you access to Ultron, um, who is a great starter character to really get you geared towards Ultimate 6 and an Ultimate 7 uh, raid team. Uh, so any additional questions, comments, concerns, you know, again, feel free to let myself know or any of your alliance leadership and any additional content you'd like to see uh, done just let me know I'm always happy to produce that um, thank you so much for watching look forward to hearing from you on discord or in game um, as always hope you find this video helpful and have a good one